Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for June 9th to the 15th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so we're gonna talk about the day-to-day, -day, the love interest failings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life for June 9th, 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we got the Ten of Cups. We have the Empress card energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And also, Gemini, don't forget, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. Okay, so I'm also just going to lay down our your love interest feelings and your uh, blockage this week and then the overall outcome. The bottom of the deck here is saying that there is, there's a message coming in for you guys, a potential love connection coming in for you guys with the Page of Cups coming out. Um, also some potential love here and we see friends, Three of Cups energy and it's some kind of new beginning here happening. Um, I do feel like there's going to be some indecisions within you, though, because this is the blockage this week. You're kind of at a crossroads and you feel like you're going to make some kind of blind decision. And uh, you're not exactly sure how to approach this situation. I feel like you guys are dealing with some kind of issue here and uh, you're kind of like still a little bit wounded about it. OK, with the two of swords coming out, but it looks like you're just like, all right, do I go this way or do I go that way? Which way is going to be the best direction for me? So we can see this is uh, June um, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, okay? So far, I can see that there is this happy situation coming in. You guys are seeing the signs. You guys are noticing it. This day, it feels like, to me, it's going to be a good day for you with the Ten of Cups energy, okay? You're going to be completely happy here. And there is so much potential here. Some of you even... Maybe starting a family here with the fertility and the Ace of Pentacles energy, okay, coming out. There may be some kind of potential pregnancy coming in here, okay? That's for some of you. Others of you, there's a situation that's really growing, okay? There's this person that's very supportive and nurturing. They may even find you very attractive That because the Empress can be a beautiful kind of card. There, there is somebody who's trying to help you, be there for you. And there is this huge offer here, huge potential offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy. All right, what's going to have my Gemini's romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's get more information here. Okay, so we got the Justice card, we got the Letter card, and we got the Isolation card. So it looks to me like this person there's a person that has made a decision, okay? There could be something legal here with the Justice card energy, but there's a there's definitely a decision being made that's gonna make you very happy. We see that there's gonna be communication. This person may be trying to help you out financially here with the Empress card energy, okay? Or they may even give you a message, hey, I wanna start a family with you. I see that there, or for some of you, there, you may, this message may be about, man, I find you so attractive, okay? With the Empress card being there, we see that there's this offer being presented, but I feel like you guys are kind of like, well, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Ace of Pentacles energy, okay? It looks like there is something being given here or something of value here on the 11th. Now let's talk about what Pentacles could be, money, family, children, long-term commitment. But I feel like you guys are kind of like, all right, uh, maybe I need to give my, separate myself from this situation. Okay, so let's get more information here. What's going to have my Gemini's romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So we see there's this cautious energy here about some decision pertaining to your happiness. We see, yes, there's a commitment coming in, a commitment gauge your marriage or a commitment to sending you this message. Okay, so there's some... There's a sense of, all right, I don't want to keep repeating these same patterns. So I'm a little bit cautious, defensive about this, this uh, situation here. And we got the deception card. There is some uh, caution 
because of I don't I feel like like uh, they're like you know maybe I need to be honest or there's something hidden about the situation or possibly it's like I, I know there's an opportunity here there's an offer being presented but you know are they telling the truth here with the deception card energy and then we see coming forward here so we see there's a cautiousness to this commitment because of concerns about deceptions or a hidden situation so we see here eight of pentacles is here on the 12th someone really wants to be creative here with you really wants to put the work into this situation there is some kind of focus on work here or education or um, just a, a want to um, really pay attention to the details of the matter here it looks like you're going to have some time with them it looks like you're going to spend some time with someone here with the courtship card coming out and it also could be involving family and long-term commitment here resolving conflict between family and long-term commitment here and it could be around also money here with the eight of pentacles energy here by the 12th don't worry i'm going to bring it all together here gemini all right so i feel like you're finally finding the courage strength and confidence here it does look like again there's some intimate time a meeting taking place okay spending time with someone here because of an opportunity here coming up key card energy and then we see the three of pentacles there's a, a sense of let's build something let's work together let's find a creative solution here in this relationship um, I feel like you guys are still concerned you're like I don't know do I really want this should I be single and available to pursue I feel like that's it there's the indecisions coming to play here yeah because we go forward it's like I'm cautious about this commitment am I gonna I'm, I'm, I, 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 like you know there's a concerns like can I be completely honest with them can I resolve this when it comes to family long-term commitment towards this opportunity so you may have had a relationship with this person before or you may have children with this person it's like you know you, you're they want to it looks like they want to resolve this situation with you they want to move forward with you but you're kind of like no there's an opportunity here but I don't know if I want to go forward with this maybe I should be single and available to pursue we had six of pentacles six of wands energy there's a person that really wants your attention or you're getting a lot of attention on the state with the six of wands energy the yeah, main person card could be you could be the love interest yes things are moving in your favor with the wheel of fortune card so we see a, a situation forming here okay uh, there could be a person that you have children with okay or uh, there's something to do with family long-term commitment here coming in but it's like you're kind of concerned you're still at a crossroads you're like I don't know if I want to go there but I don't know if this is the right path for me okay it just seems like the week so far for a lot of signs Jesus okay let's keep going here okay so there's a decision um, about this text message letter or document or paperwork and isolation or separation and we see that there's some a meeting uh, let's go out let's spend time together it looks like there's an intimate time spent together and we see again with this relationship or relationship forming and with you okay so I'm very happy completely happy um, you know I want to be there for you there's this offer being presented and effort being put into it it's trying to find that strength courage or confidence to build a foundation or to work together here for this victory six of wands energy so let's see how that's going to play out here for the overall okay so first of all let's look at your love interest feelings all right we got the judgment so they want to reconcile with you they're trying to manifest this with the magician card energy and they're being uh, uh, they're in this defeated mood like should i stand up and fight should i walk away they feel lucky to have you in their life they they feel like you fulfill their dreams here and they keep thinking about you and their thoughts your person wants to have heart to heart conversations with you and make a power move towards you and they're hoping that they can have a they're feeling like they want a positive outcome with you that they they want a, this happy connection here okay so let's keep going here Gemini what's part of this blockage here hmm theft card okay so something was taken away something was lost here and you're indecisive about this nurturing supportive energy here okay so let's see the overall outcome here Gemini 
Six of Cups, someone from the past, someone you've known before. It looks like there's going to be some kind of sacrifice that's going to be made here, okay, uh, to make a power move towards you. Okay, so someone from the past, Six of Cups energy, someone you've known before. Okay, so someone that you've dealt with before. Now, I'm not saying that they're, they're someone you had a relationship with, but, but for most of you, it probably is. Um, but it does look like there is this stuck energy around it or a sacrifice that's going to have to be made. It does look like they're charging forward towards you because if we mirror that card, it is this person that you've dealt with before. And we see that there are some changes happening here because the sense of despair and work or effort here. They really want to put the effort into this. Your person, your, the overall outcome is saying you're going to have to make a decision about a relationship, but you're a little bit confused about what to do. We see that there's something to do with this house and waiting for the right time here and a victory, Six of Wands energy again. We see that there's a hopeful energy, star card energy, but you're confused, Seven of Cups energy about what to do. And um, we see that you're kind of like, all right, what do I do here? I feel like you guys are kind of like defeated in your situation, like, I'm not sure. This person really wants you to make the effort towards healing, but you're at a crossroads. We see that they're giving you answers, they're giving you clarity, but I feel like you guys are like, I want to end this situation for a new beginning here, and I really feel justified in making my decision, or I want to make this decision. We see that there's this healing energy, but something hidden about the situation because of sudden wealth or sudden happiness, or excuse me, sudden wealth, or sudden happiness, or sudden luck. Okay, so what do I see happening here for you guys? I feel like what's going on here for you guys is there's this, this person that possibly some of you may have children with or a family uh, situation going on with or some kind of attachment there around that. And it feels like this person's like, I really wanna work this out here, Gemini. And um, there is something that happened and it's kind of like now you're at a crossroads and you're like, I, do I really want to continue on that path or do I wanna go this path? And you guys are kind of like, this person is like, I really want to make the effort. Um, they really want clarity here about where this is going to go. And you're kind of like in that mode of like, I'm not exactly sure as of yet what I want to do. All right, my beautiful Geminis. You guys can also get more information. And let me just get more understanding here for you guys. Any other information for my Geminis when it comes to a romantic love life for the situation? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So you have to do what makes you happy, what's going to make you shine here, and clear your mind and really think about the situation, and trust that all will be well and all will work out here. All right, my beautiful Geminis, I do have the monthlies up right now if you want more information what's going to happen in your situation. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.